I bet tobacco company executives have wet dreams about people like you. Hi, Neil. What are you having? Large brandy. I presume these Jocko establishments have brandy. I have a pint special, please, and a brandy for the toff. Really, Cam, I'm not sure this is for me. Come on, Neil. I know you work in intelligence these days. I advise on security matters. Write the odd report. It's freelance. Yeah. I give up. What's your beef? Well, I've got a contact who says these guys are connected. All suicides within six months last year. Bennett swallowed the active agents for cavity foam insulation. Hedgeco drowned himself in a cesspool. And Major Aramfall, MD, tied a rope round a tree on the West Coast rail line, stood on the other side of the tracks, and waited for the 6.30 Virgin Express to come through. Yeah, there's optimism for you. But it doesn't strike you as being just the slightest bit totally fucking weird. There's nothing to link them. Except this guy. He calls me using some kind of weird voice effects box. Effects box? He's gone to a lot of trouble to tell me something gradually. What do you want me to do? Look around a bit. Ask some of your freelance friends what's going on. Cameron, I know your Menshevik soul cries out for there to be a totally rational fascist plot behind all this, but I think they were just three unhappy guys. There's a project name as well, but he's not telling me that. I think maybe he's scared, you know? That's why he varies the location to the phone calls and things, so they can't be traced. What? It's a wind-up. I mean, come on. Okay, okay, I'll ask around. Really must come to Scotland more often. It all sounds tremendously exciting. <laughs>